As this Jacob Blake situation continues, it strengthens my point as to why I hate Black Lives Matter. Because as long as you're black and a white cop did something to you, no matter what you have going on in your life right now that is bad, it, it doesn't matter. Because you're the victim. Because you suffered punishment from a cop who was white. And anything that you have done which would give reason for the cops to come see you, it, it doesn't matter. Because the narrative is white cops are bad, white people are racist, and they do nothing but attack black people. There's an article going around and there are tweets of outrage going around about how Jacob Blake is in handcuffs in his hospital bed. And I believe that that is a bit excessive. The man is paralyzed and I don't really see the purpose of him having a handcuff on him. He can't run anywhere. Like, let's be honest. That's a dark joke. That's dark, but it's true. He's paralyzed. He's not going to be able to run. So him having a handcuff on him is excessive. But people are using that and they're adding these little knee-jerk comments in trying to question why he would have cuffs on him would he in that the police aren't giving information of why he's being charged or why he's being arrested ignoring that the cops originally were there not just for trespassing not just for stealing somebody's keys but because he has an active warrant on his head for domestic violence and sexual assault. And people saw this one article, this one draw up about how, oh, the notion of him having sexual assault against a minor is fake, which is true. That's fake. But you know what isn't? The sexual assault warrant. It's false that the sexual assault was on a minor, but it still is sexual assault. And that's reason enough to have the police on your neck, regardless of your standing up or in a hospital bed. They were coming to get him. So to act as if, oh, we don't know what was going on. We, we don't understand why the cops are there anyway. Why is he being charged? See, they're just trying to throw something at him because he resisted arrest. It ain't about resisting arrest. Fuck all of that. Fuck the keys he stole. Fuck him trespassing. Fuck resisting arrest. And fuck that knife. The man was getting arrested Anyway, if they caught him on any random day, they was going to run his name and they were going to put cuffs on him. But because he was shot, everything goes away. Everything he ever did that could put him in jail now goes away. All because a white cop took a shot at him. And I don't like that. I don't like that somebody who is not a hero at all. The man's no hero is now being portrayed as this ultimate victim because he didn't comply, he was in the wrong even before the cops are there, and now he's getting sympathy from people who are ignoring that he is a sexual abuser. He's a domestic abuser. So so why are we sitting here treating him like he's some hero? He's not. Why are we sitting here getting angry that the cops are there putting cuffs on him? It's angry. I gotta understand you being mad that because that's excessive. It is excessive. But stop pretending as if the cops don't have a reason to put him behind bars. And I'm telling you this now. Is seeing this, seeing this much outrage over this, watch what happens when he's eligible to leave the hospital. Watch what happens. He's going to get put in the back of a police car and people are still going to ignore it. They're going to ignore that this man has a warrant on him, which is reason to be arrested by the police. And people are going to sit there and say, oh, what do you mean? He, he's being put in the back of the police car, but he was shot seven times. You should be arresting the person that shot him. That person, who, uh, that officer who shot him on administrative leave, and everyone's investigating the situation. That's cool. And they could sit there and finish that investigation, and they could fire him. That's cool. But that's not going to take away that Jacob Blake, no matter how this ends up, unless he could spin this and treat it as if and trick everybody into thinking that, hey, I didn't have these warrants on me. Unless he can trick people into thinking he never had warrants on him, he's going to jail. Whether y'all like it or not, no matter what media narrative you spin, he's booked. No, no matter what, he's going to be in jail. And, and it's unfortunate that he may be there in a wheelchair, but I have no sympathy for the man. So all of you people trying to create sympathy for him, why? That's the video. Subscribe. Goodbye.